Yeah, welcome to a new episode of Horse Origin Legions and today we want to grind a little bit in the top 50. At the moment I rank 35 and I will just let my commander speak for me. Oh! This is what we found. Oh, bust, okay. Yeah, and um, I'm using a rotten fly deck here at the moment. So let's see. I will raise the storm. And these two cards here are really good uh, with each other. Give me a tear of blood. I like that. Farce. So this is a really, 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 really good build-up for making him real suffer. And now he will usually not use any troops. And important is to not use the flies. Lies, my precious. Uh, no matter, I'm still alive. And down to 19. Yeah, and like, yeah. Dailies in the top 50 are like daily missions in the usual game, but just twice as dangerous. Since you know that no warlord has a 100% win rate, we all know that this will um, get harder and harder. Yeah, and we focus on killing him, of course. And we eat that one here. It's really important why with the iron. Warriors, us, oh, iron hands, of course. Sorry, um, to keep the board clean and give him some pressure. Yeah. Oh yeah, brass colors always really handy. I love it. And we're preparing the finishing blow. So he's at 11 health, with uh, two eternal rivalries we can push him with 10 damage down to the death of his existence. And yeah, Shadrach Meduzan is a really nice warlord, I really hate to kill him. It's not really what I want. But what can I do? Hmm. So since yeah, the front line here gives him one more turn to live. Hmm. Oh yeah, nice. So, yeah, the toads are really nice, uh, especially for the remove cards of the Iron Hand since, um, oh, the hammer, this is a pain now. Clean the board really a lot. That helped him. Helped him a lot. A lot. Yeah, and that's it usually. I'm 
so we don't get any life or health uh, even though in this case it's anyway over so eternally give him eight and this gives him five and that's it And the thing is, like I said before, yeah, that you can really have fast, big trouble. All matches are tense and you need to grind a lot actually to get in the top 20. But uh, below the top 20, um, yeah, it's all about time when you start. The earlier you start, the faster you can get into. And maybe you're lucky. You have a good deck, and it, it doesn't get nerfed. For me, it was like this: I got Lucrezia deck it was really nice, and the initiative got down to low, and they did so much that I was not able in this uh, season when Lucrezia was nerfed to keep it up. Yeah, so he will rush fast usually and I will rush fast to kill him yeah tactic here and that's good for me when he is uh, really attacking since um, that can give him real trouble and sometimes it's uh, also really nice to keep the toad that you can for 7 energy for sure hit him hard. But in this case I like the pressure. And the heralds of Slanesh they will anyway uh, do a stack up attack. next good for me we get additional damage nice and now he's already in trouble okay that gives him one more turn yeah and this uh, really important when the toads are in that you have always one troop that uh, can be ah uh, yeah. I hate when this happens. Often use trick here in the upper ranks. Won't help him much. Cause he's just at seven, yeah now he's at eight. So if he can transform I'm in big trouble. If it cannot transform, it's really good for me. Uh, this keep him alive till he tra can transform, maybe. But we will see. Okay, fraction time is really good. And I set both of them out. It's all about the next round now. Maybe we have another disagreement, okay. Depends now. That's good. This is difficult, maybe, yeah, this is, oh, getting better. Down to 12. Yeah, 
And now he will transform and start the whole apotheosis thingy. Which is in this case bad for me. So if I can give him uh, breast colors is already good. So he's already in trouble now. So you can just use the raven usually to get uh, rid of this demon here. If not, he's dead. Nice. And he's maybe lurking for mercy and forgiveness. Which could still give him stealth here, yeah? And he's still searching for it. Okay, this is okay now. This won't help much. Nice. So... And yeah, that's it. And the next good thing is, of course, you get in, in the top 50 uh, a lot of um, nice takes and nice ideas. So we are 29 now. But still, yeah. There are some, yeah. It's really grindy. It's just, just about to get a good deck and grind, 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 grind. And... Um, I must say um, I'm more into deck making, this is more fun for me in this game to play the non-meta because if you see if you play Cabanda is absolutely meta at the moment, same like the Sanguinius and if you play this you're usually in here. Yeah. That's not often... And on a fracture in time is such a good card here. Just so well synergized. And I must say, I changed the deck till uh, till top 50. Well, till like say top 100, I play a different deck and then I change. Of course, then it's better to have a little bit more life and play more tactical. And the flies are really annoying then. <coughs> and also Fulgrim is really strong. If you, yeah, the world uh, is really, really lurking for them. And they can give you really great pain. There. Really great faction, I must say. Still, the Emperor's children are so strong. Unbelievable. And now we can fly around here. And it's important to clean the board a little bit, otherwise I have no place for the new troops. And you need always at least one fly or one toad. Um, one? Yeah, but this is it. Oh, still one alive. Nice. Two alive or also. <laughs> Two little rotten flies could make it through. Yeah, gears of rage. Yeah, don't use the fly here. Wow, 
two stuns. Wow, crazy. Played exactly what he needed. I did like this score then uh, my little friend is alive and let's give a little more flies here. Yeah, again, this is the ten. Yeah, this is really important here. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, first I need to destroy that one here. Then take out the next two. And that's it. I keep the rest. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love that. Yeah, breast colors. That you cannot be removed anymore. Oh yeah, I love that also. Then unrestricted frenzy. Yeah, this combination is really awesome. unrestricted frenzy because this uh, gives you a really big buff on the field yeah we're almost done with the dailies here really fast faster than I thought can be such a pain sometimes it's take one and a half hour and the top 50 you grind down you get loses loses you get wins 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 because this 100% win deck is not there it's just not highest win rate is at the moment can is still and then comes Corvus Corax. Yeah. Good start hand. We keep it. Then comes Cabanda and Zanguinius, and then the rest. So for all who thinking like uh, a good player like uh, Undestructible, it's more about grind, I would say. Yeah, I keep that toad. Yeah. Yeah, Demonet always before the Chaos Fury. Though this is a good start game. And here, this is already good mid game. End game, we need a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. Yeah, we keep going for that. Molten blood is good to remove the shield. Uh, four. Yeah, okay, we wait one more turn. Can be lucky, I can be lucky. Depends. Okay, I sweet balance is also okay for me. Yeah, nice, it's okay. Said, no survivor, especially Demonet with survivor, it can be really a pain. And yeah, we want to have the shield removed. And we use our friend here, the Todd. Yeah. And this is how you recognize new meta cards which is used often. That the way. Sad here. Then Yeah, we use the money win. This doesn't mean anything this is gonna anyway removed.
Yeah. Worrisome. So what what is good now at the moment? I think this will be the best move. So since any enemy which attacks me will die through poison. But now Kanis will set out um, the big the big friends, the big guns. Yeah. Like I said. Nice, this helps me a little bit, this helps me also a little bit. And this is also a typical kind of thing, you run out of cards at one point, so now the game starts, you know, like... Halfway there. And with Cabanda it uh, can be really a pain to win with this uh, kind of. And yeah, since he's not like our runestone demons, he has not these limits. Yeah, the runestone demons have so good, great troops, really great, but they don't have the chance to use some others, yeah? And I'm hoping for warmers to succeed, actually. Which, uh, with that, I could make a nice flight chain on the board. Like this is all destruction more or less. Uh. Oh, okay. Actors also here. Problem is Coria Theth, yeah, because of the shield, she doesn't get attracted by the poison. And then, yeah, can get difficulty. Difficulty. So uh, he will use Korea to remove the other fly, I think. Or to kill me because then he has benefit in any way. No, he play for safe. He go for safetyness. Oh yeah, fraction time helps me in this case. Let's try to toad him. Maybe we can give him survivor. No, but breast colors is good. This is a typical kind of situation. Running out of cards. Ah, this is desperate defense is really. Really a pain, nice combination for him. Yeah, I need cards here. Really digging. But that's one of the reasons why Khan has had the highest win rate because of the high amount of health and the shield which uh, especially versus Agros give him a good defense. 
and feels like you have uh, 1000 of Doombringers here. At least a little bit pain for him. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just give me one more turn, even if maybe not. <laughs> Yeah, he's pushing them down to two that the Doombringers just remove them. Yay, he's still alive. And there's uh, basically no way that he can w that I can win anymore and also this happens sometimes especially uh, on the dailies in the top 50 you like okay only one match left and you play this one one match one and a half hour to get it yeah here one let's see oh Khan our oh, friend The minute is already good. I see you. This will be much faster now. And he's saving life. And now I have my typical start hand. Oh, I hate that. Come on, give me luck. Good. Two energy. Yeah, I knew it. Knew it right away. Yeah, now it's only more of distraction here. Yeah, we need that one. It's already when you see that somebody is so confident in attacking. Oh no, that I like. Strike and advance now. Oh no, okay, he's more aggro. And this is now really difficult already. Better like this. Everything else would lead to a huge loss because the health um, distance would be getting too much. But this is yeah, okay. We get the toad out, so get a little bit. This is makes him slow, the Rhino. I'm pretty not sure why he played this. Did he have not so much benefit from it? Yeah. We're still ignoring the Rhino. And seven. If he was on eight energy, you knew he will remove the field. Okay for me. So we cannot do anything normally. <laughs> oh you just use all of what you have. Ah, good job, good job. Sad no front line. Mo 
Molten blood is here a good trick. And we use one of that to save life. Yeah, this is also another good trick with Rune Storm because not everybody is like checking everything. Fracture and time is really nice. This will help me a lot. Thing is, eight damage can be easy dealt by World Eater at turn nine. Ah, yeah. So, look at this luck. Look at this luck. A gears of rage is good. Yeah, he will be able to remove this. I'm quite sure. I had need to attack this other thingy. It's a 100 piece and over usually. But text, uh, maybe, ah. maybe. You might well. This is what I meant. Last, the last match of the daily is always the longest. have really much luck now depends on what this brings ah no flies that's it unlucky so the thing where if I could have demonic wings this is draw at least draw maybe win yeah like this, I can't do anything. Really sad. It was the only chance, yeah? And so all what I did, win, I lost already. And again, back. Ah, oh, my friend. Colonel on our top. I'm a Reed Spiral. This is a former Thunder Warrior. Then he stopped playing, now he's back. Really good ranked. I think he's on place five or four. Come on, friend. Open fire. Hello. Hello, Colonel. Let's see how much. A uh, four three is he at the moment. Yeah, uh, this. Yeah. Molten blood is good. And I want the flying chain. Oh, 
Well, this is giving a lot of damage to him, which I really appreciate. case it's better to do like this even so I get the damage the he's already down on 12 and I still have the board full That card deck we see just before we had a lot of card drawing. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Okay, that's it. So let's do it. That's almost, almost. This is such a small, small. So we use that here to get more flies on the field now we need to attack funny thing here and this is what I, I love this when this happens yeah when the deck gives you what you need at the right turn ah, it's one of the most um, satisfy satisfying things yay I make no apologies and yeah I knew before you didn't. One round of daily missions to less. <laughs> so let's do another round. So that one was like yeah, the duration of the stream now. How long? Yeah, yeah. Th true. This explains the rhino fill, and also. Yeah, especially where there's um, yeah the rune storms. They don't have uh, much um, of remove cards, so they um, can get really in trouble with that. Yeah, M my is one of the lesser decks so far. I see um, that have the fracture of time as Cabanda. So I didn't play with another one. Ask a till yet. Oh, and that I hate the game at the moment since the, the one of the updates crashes often. Often. Yeah. So, wait a moment. I need to close the game. Boop. Ah, the darkness is behind me. She's haunting me in my sleeps, but she will never win. 
Sorry for that poem. And now it's come back. <laughs> Ah, that's wrong. Also, another card w for rune storms. We shall be Impossible to remove since you don't have any gem. Yeah, I think uh, with chaos there's only one machine w which can give you any gem. The rest not. Cabanda versus Cabanda. <laughs> Better start. It's really important when you go for a mirror match to you need the stealth. And this is usually fast matches, two minutes. And I go full acro, even with the healing. Usually this will not help. You have molten blood. No. Rest colors ward, okay. I use always Molten Blood, I love this. So his actress is down now. Yeah, and I like also the, the combination Demon Brute with um, Harold of Slanish. But I think I will use Bile Blade since he's almost dead. Yep. Down to 15. So next round we have Portal be finished already. Yeah, this could be it. Okay, this is for sure. Yeah, and this is what I meant. To going with the stealth with Cabanda is much more effective than anything else for me, especially. Usually, at the moment, the most mirrors are won. Since uh, the demons hiding in the shadow, sneaking and lurking from behind, are doing a lot of pain. I don't need it yet, Seeker of Slanesh. Give him no mercy. Yeah, but let's play safe. No experience. 
The problem for Onatov is uh, he's really strong against everybody, but not Brantan. Oh, good move from him here. Good move from him. Wasted turn for me. So I keep the rod flyer that for 8 damage I can uh, set the last 6. Did not attack, which is smart move, of course. Okay, this is also okay. Now with survivor is much more hard to kill. You will attack. <laughs> I knew it. Now take the additional damage to have some flies on the field. Something else? Yeah, okay, you can remove all my precious, my darlings. Uh. Yeah, so we get closer now to his death. Oh yeah, this is a pain card here. Uh, really nice. So you cannot target my troops? Look at that! Look at that! Nice move! Woo! Now! So I have no chance to pass that defense. So maybe you have me. And this new card for 10 energy we see it now often. It could be also really good uh, with Magnus and also could be really handy um, for Mortarion. And Ferros Manus. But the most card I want from the new expansion is Kaidu Lane. So this is basically a draw now. Ooh, come on. Okay, it's draw. So now at this state it's draw for sure. And stays draw. The Thunder Hammer. 
And this is how a little small Colonel Onatov could stand. Against Cabanda. Really well played. And the next gun is much better start hand, much more stealth now. That's more what I needed. The last match because he has just you can remove one stealth. You can remove two stealth, but as three or four stealth he will start to struggle. I was first Debonet, then Chaos Fury, then the Fallen, then Arrow. Yeah. I would say uh, most of the best cards on the hand. That one, that one, that one. Chaos Fury, really awesome. Okay, and he's preparing again for a long way. This is typical. So really nice. Molten blood. And remember the last time I pushed him to twenty and then that's it. You will load this gun. And stealth them, or we will use a true depend Oh, drilling side. This card, you see now the meta cards really go well, yeah. Meta drilling side is, uh, yeah. And half of all. All them. All them cards. Yeah, and we use that little guy here. That gives him trouble now. Oh, he have a defense satellite, and all trouble will be washed away. And I still think defense satellite is, yeah, really annoying. Too strong. Too strong. Since it will remove, yeah, with five energy, you can uh, remove all the work you have done before. Yeah, that's good, another Herald of Slanesh. It doesn't matter now. Yeah, sadly he cannot use it against himself. Yeah, I need to clean him. Otherwise, he will do constant damage to my stealth troops, and that I don't want to. I don't want this. Fell River. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, see my card. Uh, I counter that. You. Um, oh yeah, I love that. This will... Oh, come on, shoot your head shoulder, please, 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 please. If you shoot his shoulder, this will do um, one damage soon and three times. And this will really, really, really do a lot of pain to him. Come on. Ah. Uh. Nice! <laughs> oh. I really start to hate that Doombringer. And again, boom! This was a lot of damage. Yeah, three, five. This is a must remove. 
Again, Molten Blood. And he's down to 17. And maybe this time he will use his shoulder. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you, brother. Thank you for this. Yeah, actually, uh, rune storms have healed um, Kitten from Actress. And that one, two energy card. Oh, I don't know the name at the moment. Too many new cards. Uh, come on. Brain, give, it the, give me the name. I have to think about it. I will just show it after the match. So this one card will, they can use. Um, yeah, first we have to make him suffer. This will be ah, so close. So close, and just to tickle him. Yeah, the yeah, the one uh, sweet five demon. I don't get the name at the moment. So something with P, but this is only also relentless. Yeah, wonders of Sika, Thank you. Wonders of Sika. I was thinking about Wonders of Sika, but I was thinking, you know, maybe you know it when your brain thinks, Nah, Wonders of Sika. What is this kind of name for a healing card? Because it's wonderful. Yeah, okay, maybe that. But yeah, I was like, oh, okay. Thanks, Fast Genie. Fantastic genius. And we go on up. 422. Yeah, rank 24. So, Primark starters you get from rank 20 on. This is all Captain starters. Poxbringer, yeah. I have two, and I think I showed both, but I can also show this one and the other one. The one, um, the one, first one I think I was used the last time with lots of anti-stealth. This was really good for climbing, but then it got like a little bit plateau. Yeah, I, this may you always feel like ah, I'm stuck, and um, so when I was sucking, I switched to that deck and worked wonderful. And especially I didn't add the rod flies before. Yeah, this card is a must remove. The Brotherhood. Yeah, crossing claws. Okay, we put actor out. Yeah, this is also something, yeah. This is a typical situation. So to um, heal two times for that damage I get that, I better use Ekatra to destroy him, yeah? Mm, yeah, we use Black Barrel. Because even though I can heal two times, yeah, three, then it's only three uh, damage. I still, yeah. But you have only two cards. We do like this. So you could. It would not be wrong if you use actress to kill him. I think if it's a human enemy, I would better um, use actress um, to kill him since I need the health more. Like this is also okay. 
I can live with that. Yeah. And this is yeah, the weakest 40 health warlord ever. I mean, the of rod will keep that guy in the game. <sighs> Lucky me. You will remove him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is an I I love this move here with the rune stones. You get because this. Make this troop really useful. A rotten fly. And I think Ignatius should have removed all costs of demons. We had it by um, the Lord of the Flies, and it was really awesome. And in my opinion, yeah, everybody should have this. Huh. Yeah, okay. Next round he is dead. Pax Caoria. Actually I had it in my deck also with Cabanda since such a thing can happen. And the Beast of Pyra, uh, especially with Path of Blood. Wow. A lot of damage. But I think the stealth combination together with unrestricted fancy does a lot more. Yeah, we have 10, 20, 30. Two more. Oh. In this deck, I don't have anti stealth since I just use the brutal force of my own stealth. Go away, Toad. I don't need you yet. Uh, he will anyway hide in the shadow. It gives me no pleasure to do this. And he's gone. So if I put out the toad, he uses ability toad dead. No benefit yet. <laughs> that's good, that's much better. Now Black Bearer, boom, a little. The problem is of course um, the ravens have really a lot, 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 lot of remove from stealth and this why they can really a pain yeah command bridge you see command bridge in most of the decks so I would tell command bridge is a must-have for most of the decks can save you Abandon and hiding in the shadow. If not, he has the problem. Okay, what the F? Now he's hiding. No matter. I have another one. Even though I get the damage, nothing matter because I can really nice buff a little now. Yeah, that's one. I better demonic wings to get him more health. Yeah, nice. And now. So this is a hard threat now for him. I have also Path of Blood. <sighs> yeah. Better we do like this. Spoil him, give him 11. It's 
Sorry, swanky potato. For death. Nox Corex, he cannot uh, consume a toad and then hide. Yeah, classic finisher and it's enough. GG. Yeah. Yeah, the Ravens are really strong now. After the buff, I really like them. And Corvus Correct, like I said, is the highest win rate behind Canis now. Oh, so if one thing is the enemy of Cabanda, then I would call it Vulcan. It's his nemesis. Yeah, Winston Silke. Yeah, the problem is really, this is one I thing to meet you in I think this is really um, sad about this game, that you, with Winston Six, it's really difficult at the moment. Oh, good, good, good. To get something done, yeah, I did rework the deck, I can also show it, but I tried to use it and yeah, not so much chances because it's too slow it works with this one um, third of all the matches you use Atama otherwise this will be much too slow so far I saw that And it's not like I didn't try it. I tried it, but it was too slow. Unfortunately. Demon Chosen, I don't have him. I would like to have it in my deck. I just don't have him. Oh, lucky me. Lucky me. Yeah.
Yeah, sadly, 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 uh, at the moment. <laughs> yeah, what I do next? I remove him? Can be difficult. Yeah, come on. So we have a lot of mutate. Drew, kitten, yeah. Can be a possibility with the Nurglings, but the Nurglings um, for the rune storms have maintained and this is a really problem. So, now we will see the most badass. Uh, come on, I want to do it. The most badass. Oh, come on, give me breast colors, otherwise, this will be no sense. And a survivor? Another time survivor? Now, this is the most badass plug bearer ever. Yeah, Nimeter. I have Nimeter deck, which actually was really nice. I modified it also. But not here. Yeah, Wintermar win. GG Wintermau, he's rank 4. And he's rank 4 with Vulcan, yeah? And he's playing Vulcan only. Because you play often the same players in the top 50 and... Uh, yeah, Vulcan only. Uh, what I want to show, yeah. Yeah, I modified the name meta deck a little bit more. This is a Vulcan deck. This is uh, near as similar as they play the most, guys. Of course, everybody has his own favorites. And what I really have to think about at the moment, just right now, what happened? Because at the moment I have more small troops here, yeah? but they all have survivors in it. So if you add uh, Forge for the Kill out and add, I, I, do I have this card? Yeah, I have that. And add one of that thingy here in. This could really work also well. Since most of the cards have survivor. And then frontline. And this can be a really pain. Could be nice. And this is like most of the players play. Yeah, some have war room, some not. Some have a command bridge like you saw. And... What is also really possible to play now is the new Afarius, which is really funny. Of course, if you put this card in, this is for card drawing, yeah? You have to decide if you play Alpha Legions, if you play for stun of you, or you play for card drawing. But the problem is I hate Alpha Legion. I just did the deck because I love deck making. But we have here the Milita. This really, for one of the new cards, works really well with them. And the other one is Intel Report. Put a copy in your hand, yeah? And this is actually like the ability of Alphire. So if you exchange them through Exodus, you still have the uh, same benefit, yeah? Because to have uh, Exodus as Warlord in the beginning can give you stealth when you need it, so this is not uh, the dumbest thing to do. Yeah, Alpha Arius deck. If you need it, I never use it. I played once or so, it was working. 
when you concentrate on um, the card drawing. Yeah, but the mostly decks I play, the main Cabanda deck at the moment is Cabanda Skull. That's the one I play now in the top 50, you just saw all the time. Yeah. Plucked out two times on Spawn Land. This Rod Fly is nice. Can also um, be exchanged with Parting the Wheel. Path of Blood. Pluck Bearer two times. The Fallen one time only. Actress. Yeah, for the healing. Chaos Fury two times. Awesome card, especially. Um, I can away this card. Yeah, especially in combination with the demonet. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah, unrestricted frenzy when you buff your troops a little bit. Then the blood letters one time. Tide of madness, which is a nice turn. Yeah, a little because this can give you a little twice. Herald of Sun is two times, Demon Brood two times, Fell Weaver one time, Fracture in time, Seeker of Slanish two times. Bile Blade and Harriers of Signet Prime and Master of Deceit. And funny thing is, this is not an epic or a green card, but it does a great job for me. You just saw it with Karnas and everything because this 5 7 this makes us really strong. And yeah, the other Karnas Cabanda deck, sorry, is that one here. That's the one I used to climb. For the climbing, um, the other one was a little bit too slow, I don't know, because it's more like bashing, bam, 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 bam. It's more damage focused, yeah, we have two times informant network, we have one time defense satellite, bioblade and war master deceit, and two times the fell reavers, two times the demon brute, Fallen two times here, Plug Bear one time. And no fly. Why no fly? Because parting the wheel is in this case better. Because it can give you the Seeker of Slanesh, one of the best fast troops in the whole game, I would say. Um, yeah, collection, Chaos, 5. Is it not 5? Yeah, it is 5. Can't be six. Funny thing, I don't see it here. I oh, know I have to say all cards. Sorry. Then it's four. Yeah, yeah. Seducers. And if you get parting the wheel and then the seducers, awesome. Yeah, you uh, just. Uh, this is 4 energy, yeah? You set him out, you hit him with 5. His maintenance cost will only will actually work on the next turn. Seekers of Slanesh eat the seducers and give him the final cut, yeah? 11 damage, boom. Nice finisher. So this uh, deck I really used uh, versus climbing. And it's of course much better with our friend the Ravens, but an all over win rate. And I have at the moment, yeah, we look at C. I can't see it here. See, see it here. Ah, this mouse tracked, yes, really. Ah, no. Yeah, I played uh, 516 matches and 332, uh, 33 wins. And. Um, Yeah, you see, I, I don't uh, waste no time. I play, use all my decks only in the ladder because if it doesn't live in the ladder, it's wasted. And of course, my lose rate is often a little bit uh, lower because uh, to make the videos for uh, all of you, uh, of course, I'm testing everything. Yeah. Also, maybe mechanism you would know that would not be the best, but I just for the testing, yeah. Warp Rift, I met a lot of cabanas using Warp Rift. They're 
this was waste. Yeah. Also this waste. Yeah, the planetary trap can be nice, but also yeah, too much negative benefit. So actually, that the uh, Tuka Bandit decks I use, and um, for top 50, the other Cabana deck here is performing much more well because um, it can be played more tactical. Yeah. Oh, come on, give me Kaiser Lane. And at the moment, the Pet Robbers in the shop. Therefore, I should maybe show my Patu Rabu deck just because in the shop. If you need some, uh, oh, this is my Narakuru Patu Rabu. Where is my friend? Do I have it there? Yeah, this is, but this is also still old school. The typical escape went fun thing. Forgebreaker. Forgebreaker got changed here. Deal 4 damage. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, Byblade is too slow. Yeah, read here in the chat. Um, yeah, to save for Byblade is too slow. It's really like this. That Byblade can help you a lot with the angels, since usually you smash the angels till you are on turn seven. And if you then have Byblade, um, then the troops are not that bad, yeah, because they can only attack you, attack you once, and not like okay, that's a threat I have to deal with next round again. Yeah, this is, so that means all the troops which are attacking are only one-time threats, which is awesome for you and your deck. Yeah, but this is uh, by the way just because it's in the shop. Pet Robo deck number one. It's a little bit old school. It's a bit like uh, one or two seasons ago. It would really good work. Now I'm not sure, but maybe as. Um, A little bit, uh, yeah, construction deck, what you can use. This uh, squad can be really a pain, especially with this runestone since you don't have ambassador. And yeah, so I would say uh, that's it for today. Uh, it's already uh, half past uh, three, my goodness. And uh, thanks for watching and um, Hope catch you at the next stream and of course I will keep climbing at the moment 23 and I hope I can show this um, if I get the time it's all about time um, if I get the time that I can show how to open the Primark chest <laughs> I hope of course otherwise it will be the top 50 chest it's just about grind yeah this is why I'm still for the death should make win streaks and additional points like yeah that you can climb a little bit more faster that like if you play high risk decks or non meta decks that you get more points out of it because you will always constantly play otherwise the same warlords in the top 50 and if you like you play a lucrezia or your nonatov you get a little bit more points out of out of it would be nice would appreciate that so thanks for watching guys and uh, see you next time on the battlefield. Good night, good fight.